What is going on guys? V here, back with another one. Today we're making overnight oats four different ways. I'm going to show you four different recipes for them. Just want to show you guys first these jars I got on Amazon. I got four of these. And yeah, they're really cool. They're actually just made for overnight oats and they come with a seal. They come with a spoon and a holder for the spoon. So you can grab these and go in the morning. And yeah, you don't have anything twice. So highly recommend trying to get these on Amazon. They're only about 20 bucks for four of them. And that's in Canada and in the States would be even cheaper, I'm guessing. So yeah, let's get into it. This first one, we're gonna use a Premier Protein as the base. Instead of milk. And I'm gonna use the large flake oats instead of the quick oats, because they just work better for overnight oats. I'm gonna use a cup of oats. And watch me spill it everywhere, yeah, of course. I'm gonna use two tablespoons of vanilla Greek yogurt. Favorite protein ever, it's the vanilla flavor from raw. Put beef for 10% off, you already know it. It's almost done actually. I'm waiting for more in the mail because it's my favorite, like I said. Do a scoop of that. Now we're gonna need some premier protein, vanilla flavor for the base of this. The whole thing. I like to add some Miss Butterbur sugar free syrup. It's actually my favorite sugar free syrup there is. A little drop of that. And some vanilla extract. I like the artificial over the original. It's already sweet enough with the maple syrup and the everything, the vanilla extract, everything. It's already sweet enough without any sweetener, so I don't add any extra. There we go. That's amazing. I only eat half of this at a time, so this lasts me two days. One of these lasts me two days, so we're making actually like a whole week's worth right now. One more shake. One more shake it up. And we're good. There's one. I highly recommend investing in a food scale if you don't have one and you're trying to track calories or trying to just lose weight in general. We're gonna make our second one. This one's gonna be lower calories. The first one was higher in protein, the second one's lower in calories. I'm gonna use a cup of oatmeal, which is 80 grams. No, I'm gonna use cashew milk for this just because this is only 25 calories per cup. It's actually my favorite. I like it. I prefer it over almond milk because it's creamier. We're just using, gonna use one a cup of this, 250 mils. We're gonna use some vanilla Greek yogurt once again. We're just gonna do one tablespoon in this. Keep the calories down. Once again, some less butter's worth, sugar-free syrup. Some vanilla extract. And once again, some protein powder. I'm gonna do this one, glazed donut flavor. You can pretty much use any kind of protein you want though. Just use, I'm using this, raw nutrition, code V, 10% off. Just gonna shake it up. And like I said guys, one of these containers makes two servings. Hey guys, so super frustrating thing that just happened. I went to edit that video that I just made for the overnight oats and it turns out that two of the sections for it did not record. Well, it did record, but it's just saying that it's in supported video type even though I didn't change any settings on my phone. So yeah, we're gonna have to do those again, but here's what I did make, just to show you guys. These are the ones that I made on camera that I have recorded. And then I made a strawberry one and a chocolate one. 
I'm not gonna redo the whole thing just because I really don't want to do that even though I should for the video's sake. However, I am gonna show you the exact ingredients that I used in each one and how I made each one. Strawberry one, I put in it some oats, a cup of oats because it lasts me two days so I put a cup so I have half a cup each day. I put Fairlife milk, I put uh, just one tablespoon of Oikos yogurt, Greek yogurt, I put a little drop of liquid honey, I put some of this strawberry syrup in with it, and I put about half a serving of frozen strawberries in it. Of course I put some strawberry cream protein powder in it. I put one and a half scoops of this because it's lower protein than other protein. This is how I made the chocolate one. I used more cashew milk just because it's only 25 calories. I used a cup of large flake oats. I put some stevia in it once again because I did use some cocoa powder in it. So I put some stevia in it. I also used this decadent chocolate brownie protein and yeah and I think I also used a few just about half a serving of chocolate chips and that's how we made this chocolate one so sorry I didn't get it on video for you guys of how I made it but that's pretty much everything I put in it that's gonna do it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching drop a like subscribe if you are new thank you so much on the 4,000 subscribers it means the world to me hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and yeah, like I said, sorry that the video got kind of cut short because I didn't get it all on camera, but I did kind of show you guys in the end how it was all made.